All right guys, today's video I'm going to be installing this automatic transfer switch into the bar. If you've been following my videos, uh, you've seen that I just completed the bar a couple weeks ago. Um, it is running on solar and I do have a backup in case solar fails or in case a lot of uh, you know cloudy days or uh, using the bar a lot at night when the sun's not out and the solar can't keep up. But right now the solar does work great for keeping the TV running, the lights going, I've got a fridge in there. During the day it runs great on solar. It never even dips into the battery, which is great. At night, different story. So I do have it set up so everything is wired to, to one outlet and then that outlet comes out and plugs right into the power inverter. I also have an extension cord running in there from the house so that if I do want to go to shore power, you know, regular house power, I just unplug it from the inverter and then I plug it into the extension cord and then we're on house power. But it gets a little confusing with the kids and the wife. They come out and sometimes, hey, it's not working. I don't know if, and like, oh, well, you're plugged into the house power or you're not plugged into solar power or whatever. So I want to make it easier. You can set the priority on this so that I'm going to have solar power as the main so solar will always run on solar, but if I want to switch to house power, all I have to do is shut the inverter off and it'll instantly switch right over to the, the house power. So this plug right here is going to plug right into the inverter. This one connects to the AC source, so this one will connect to house power with that extension cord. I'm going to put a, a male plug on here just like this, so that'll go into the extension cord. And this one will go right to the outlet, which will energize the, the rest of the, of the bar. So, uh, I could also have it so that I keep the inverter on all the time and the inverter is set when it goes below a certain voltage. So if the battery starts running low and it dips below a certain voltage, I forget what that is, the inverter will automatically shut off. And once the in inverter shuts off, that would automatically cause this guy to switch over to house power. But um, I might just leave it on and, and let it do that, but I also don't like Actually, I should say I don't want to leave that on like that because I don't like draining the battery that much because I don't want to kill it. So I'd rather just do it manually. When I'm going to switch to pa uh, house power, just turn off the inverter and it'll go. But otherwise, it'll run on solar the, the whole time. So this is your line that's going to go right to the power inverter. It's going to plug in. This line is coming from the house power. So this, I'll put in a, uh, a male plug on here and plug it into the extension cord. And then this is your load. This will go to the outlet right there. All right, so I just fed this in here. I forgot to roll the camera on that. So technically this should work if I plug this into solar right now, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna wire up this guy. So I'm taking this male plug off here. I'm gonna wire it to this guy, and this guy will go to my extension cord. Take these guys up. All right, so right now we're all plugged in. I plugged this line into the solar. And as you can see, we're working. We got lights. Lights are on. Uh, it's running completely off solar right now. As you can see, it's taking zero watts from the battery, uh, zero amps. So we're running completely off solar right now. And I've got the other plug plugged into the extension cord which goes to the house, which I'm going to go plug the house power in right now. That's the cord right there that's going, the extension cord. Actually, so here, if we do this, we can see both. So, if I unplug this, that should still stay on because it's running off solar power. They so the lights blink really quickly, so it went to solar. So let's do the same thing. We're on house power. I'm going to shut down the solar and those lights should still stay on or they should at least flicker a bit. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, solar is off. So now we're running off house power. All right, so this is just a quick test. We're going to see how fast it cuts over from solar to, uh, to electric to house power. I'm going to see if the TV drops and my streaming uh, drops. Right now I'm just streaming, uh, I don't know what this is, it's a trailer on YouTube. So I'm going to cut the power in three, two, one. All right, solar is off and 
it was instantaneous. Didn't drop TV, uh, lights didn't even flicker. And right now we're running on house power. And this is, we have the lights, the TV, and I've got a small fridge down here running. I'm gonna switch back to solar. And there it goes, went to solar and no problem. Didn't lose any, any TV or anything. So this is what we have going on right now. Everything is on solar. We've got the TV, we get the lights going. Even have this refrigerator is plugged in right here and it's humming along, keeping stuff cool. Actually, I just powered it on, so it's gonna be drawing a lot of juice right now because I just powered it up, so it's actually warm in there. So it's gonna be trying to bring things down to temperature. And as you can see here, let me focus on here. The battery is not taking a hit. Everything is running completely on solar right now. Battery's at 13.77 voltage volts. And you can see here on this screen, uh, we got 37.3 volts coming in, 0.3 amps, converting that to 0.7 amps. And like I said, that's more than enough to run everything right now. We're running the TV, we're running lights, and we're running this fridge, and the battery is not even dipping. It's, there's no current coming out of the battery and no wattage coming out of the battery. So that's actually pretty good. And it'll run like this pretty much all day. Actually, I'm also charging this guy. He's plugged in, so this battery is charging. So with those panels are, I've got a 100 watt panel and an 85 watt panel that I bought at different times right there. And they sit in the sun pretty much all day long. So from morning to almost sundown, those things are getting a lot of sun. They're very dusty, they gotta be cleaned. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for the install of the, this is the Pro Watt 15 amp transfer switch. It's a road transfer switch, so it does it automatically. You don't have to flip any switches for it to, to work. It works within milliseconds. I forget what the exact spec is on it, but um, it does say, if I remember, I'll, I'll put it up. But you did see the lights flicker for one second as it transferred from house to, to solar and, and vice versa. But I do have mine set as solar as the priority. So as long as both things are plugged in, it'll just run off solar until I shut that transfer switch off. Um, then it'll automatically go over to house power. So that's about it. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos of the, the bar build, parts one through 10 or here on YouTube, feel free to check it out or like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, make them below and I'll be sure to answer as, as soon as I can. All right, thanks for tuning in. Later.